and we'll head over into our index of web. Search over all time. And let's grab some fields to work with. Category ID, action, host, client IP. We'll just work with these. Throw them into a simple stats count by command. So count by host, client IP, action, and category ID, and observe the output as we normally expect to see it. You can see everything is broken down into each time every single match went for the host, client, action, and category. But the host is just super repetitive, and you have to sort to kind of see what happened on each host. Uh, it's not as, as neat to, to read. So let's change this by doing a stats list for the fields of interest that we want to see for client IP, action, and category ID. And we'll do it by the group, the field that we want to group together, which is our host. And as you can see, the output here makes it so that everything is kind of grouped by host. And I have everything related to web server two in the second block and web server three in the third block. So it's just a little bit easier and cleaner representation of what you would kind of want to see activity by web server. And I wouldn't worry about this caution right here. It says some values have been truncated or ignored. If I wanted to, I can go into my settings under limits.conf and increase the limits underscore max size value that I have. But this is just pointing out that I went over my limit of items that the list command is set for. And I think the default is around 100 or something. So the results have been truncated, um, but I'm not too worried about it. Uh, I just wanted to show the difference here between the functions.